All right, going back to school, but you're worried about student loan debt? Well, some students, they're turning to crowdfunding websites to ask strangers to foot the bill. Good idea. We want to ask our Generation Hex this week, your world producer, Dan Hilsden, political prospects, Kaylee McNinney, internet radio host, Mike Guns, Gunzelman, and the Greg Gutfeld Show correspondent, uh, Joanne Noschuchensky. Uh, Kaylee, I'll start with you. Um, would you ever do this? No doubt about it. I mean, I'm a third you year. You would? Yes. I'm a third Ooh. year. I'm I thought you said we're going to say no way ever. No, I think it's a great idea. I'm a third year law student. I have student loan debt. I understand that this is a very real challenge. 2015 graduates, most indebted graduates in all of history. So if you find an alternative means of financing, it's fantastic. I commend no. them. No. No. Oh, no, no. Listen, if you give milk to a stray cat, it's going to keep coming back for more. Okay, so what's next, we then ask? This is money. We're going to crowdfund our weddings. <laughs> We're going to crowdfund vacations. Some people would. People are choosing to go to schools that cost all this money, so people can choose to give their money. I won't. If I mean, people yeah. decide, they go, hey, Dan's coming to an expensive school. I'm going to give him some money. Sure. I'm going to say, well, thank you very much for giving me the money. And, but mm. it's, but you're going to actively you know, pursue why would, those people Why would you money? not take free money from people? But I think yeah. she's going to show Would you actively do it? Would you ask? Yeah, I would do this in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. I wish yeah. this website was around <laughs> when I was in school <laughs> because I'm still paying student loans. And I'm exactly. not a third-year law student. I, I'd love to go fund me. I actually just set one up for uh, an Ashley Madison account so I can get over my ex-girlfriend. So for everybody out there, start funding me, baby. Let's do this. You have to be married first to be on Ashley Madison. Oh, what I want. All right, turn your eyes to Who cares facts? No lemonade for you. That's what police are telling Jerry Seinfeld after shutting down his son's charity lemonade stand. Apparently, neighbors complained about it. Dan, you know, Seinfeld, kid, can kids have a lemonade stand Seinfeld if the neighbors don't like it? what was coming to him. I mean, it's a, look, I know, it's a charity, it's a lemonade stand, but it's Jerry Seinfeld. Do you know how many people were probably on this road pulling over? Oh, Seinfeld's uh, selling <laughs> lemonade in uh, Long Island. There's probably dozens of cars on the side of the road. It's probably being a nuisance to the people that live around well, the stand. It's not only that, it's illegal, and we shouldn't be teaching these children to be participating oh, in illegal yeah. behavior. No, I mean, it's 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 it is lemonade. The new ice is illegal <laughs> in East Hampton where they were doing it. Yeah. So the, really, we need to be teaching peddling, the kids values. The peddling law was not passed to prosecute little five-year-olds. Yes, children. it was. The neighbor so from hell. Equality. <laughs> like common sense. Come on, don't. This ask. isn't my five-year-old son trying to sell lemonade outside my house. This is Jerry Seinfeld. That's good. He's probably had dozens of cars yeah, outside this woman's house kids. just trying to take pictures kids. of him. He's teaching yeah. the good morals, capitalism at its finest. Yeah, right? I, I, I'm, I'm wondering how, he must have some nasty neighbors shutting right. down a kid's lemonade right. stand. <laughs> All right, this is a good story. After being accused of cheating, poker pro Phil Ivey, he's now hitting back at the Borgata saying, it's your fault. You had such attractive women and all that booze there designed to distract me and other gamblers. Guns, is it the women's fault? <laughs> well, it's always the women's fault. Yeah. Multiple. <laughs> all right. I'll see you after the show, uh, yeah. guys. But, uh, I mean, hello, you're at a casino, especially the Borgata. Shout out to the Borgata, by the way. Love you. Um, but uh, <laughs> I love how he can focus and win millions of dollars, but the minute uh, a woman comes by, he's claiming that he can't pay attention anymore. Like, this, where's the focus there? This is pathetic. This is a professional <laughs> poker player going, these casinos are trying to distract gamblers. I'm like, your whole career is based on avoiding those women. Yeah. Like, why else do guys go and spend seven hours getting little tiny free drinks <laughs> when they're not winning money? It's because of the attractive women. I mean, it, that's just the fact of well, life inside so, a casino. You said that they are professionals. And if you then go to another sport, right, if someone were to lose the Super Bowl, you're not going to blame it on the cheerleaders on the mm. sidelines, am I right? Right, right. And like Alex Rodriguez throwing his ball to the girl in the stands. Like you're not going to blame the other team for having beautiful <laughs> totally. fans. Come on. Right. I got to tell you, it yeah. works both ways, though. I met a gambler, a blackjack player, who used to invite super attractive women. I did a story on this guy because he won 15 million bucks in Atlantic City playing blackjack. Mm -hmm. And he said he would bring women in just to distract the dealers. So uh, what is, what it is can his work name? both <laughs> ways. I'll give him a call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now, I got his call. All right, I'll give it to you after. All right, thank you so much. Great having you Woo, all here. Thank you. I, I